Some more of that medley I told you about. It's really fucking good. You know, the main Zelda theme in Link's Awakening is a little different in this one than in all the other Zelda games. Specifically right here. And it's really good. So it's kind of nice to hear it. It's kind of nice to hear it like that. So anyway, that's from Rebecca E. Tripp on YouTube. You really should check out the uh, orchestral medley. It's excellent. Um, hey, so well, welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's early tonight because, well, I've been, um, I was in Boston last weekend and uh, I got a couple texts and it turns out I've got a birthday party to go to tonight. And um, tomorrow I won't be around at night either. Tomorrow's going to be an early stream too because sometimes you got to put some work in with your friendships, <laughs> believe it or not. And therefore, I can't do late streams tonight or tomorrow. Yep. It's not my birthday party. But anyway, that's that's what's going on. Um, are the pack stories on the Full Sauce channel yet? Yes, they are. So we're going to just do this early. Play a little bit of Zelda, a little bit of Scrum with Bingo. Vinny, I don't like it. Please stop. Well, guess what? You can find late streams from soy sauce, ketchup, mayonnaise, and honey mustard sauce. But Vine Sauce will be doing a slightly early stream tonight. Someone else in chat said, Joel ain't streaming tonight. You'll have to do. That's a really nice thing to say to someone. I wish you good fortune in your future. <laughs> I really do. Nice. Such nice people tonight. That's no, okay. I can handle it. I've become quite accustomed to be uh, to being the internet's punching bag. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got this. I got this. Remember, you can you can like both. Equally. Isn't that... Isn't that good, too? Yeah, no, that's true, Nary. That is, that is a good point. No, there's... I can think of plenty... ...of other punching bags. I'd say I'm... I'm actually... I, I've definitely had a good relationship with my audience to the point where I've... I've amassed some... ...some respect. Isn't that... It's kind of kind of crazy, isn't it? Hang on, let me lower the game a little bit. I feel like I'm speaking over it loudly. Um, no gal gun tonight. Let me see. I'll remember your name for later. Okay, good, good, good. Anyone requesting gal gun, you will be logged, and then your uh, name will be sent to the um, NSA or Interpol. So anyway, back to Zelda. Uh, the thing... here is... Um, I have to go to the level 3 dungeon, but I don't know where it is. Hmm. Oh, wait, right, yep. That's true. That's true, thanks. Um, I spoke to my dude at Twitch, my dude, I spoke to, uh, one of my contacts at Twitch, and he said, I can be live on YouTube for a little bit. Like, it's not a big deal, as long as I'm, you know, not doing the whole stream on YouTube. Because, again, that contact was, he was like, yeah, no, you, you should be able to stream on YouTube, it's, it's not a good rule. But we don't really have a choice. You know what I mean? And again, it's done as a backup, it's done to send notifications, it's done to preserve the stream footage. Um, 
but he's he says it's okay and, and they won't give me too much shit, but I thank you for reminding me every time I forget to turn off YouTube. Okay, I can't go through those blocks just yet. So those blocks, um... Followed the Zelda formula of... Not yet. Really, really beautiful day out. Vinny, quit being a punching bag and dab on them haters. No, 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 that's Logan and Jake Jones. Vinny, how are you even able to follow this 500 mile per hour ass chat? The stream might as well almost not have a chat sometimes. I'm able to follow it based on random interaction. I disagree though, I do think that having a chat is, is good. I like having a chat. Um, I, I enjoy the interaction. I just can't attend to everyone's personal needs. There are- there's a subsect of viewers that will actually leave a bigger stream and go for the smaller ones so that they can, um, they can get that. And I'm totally okay with that. I don't really have much of a choice these days. This is just how it be. But, um, yeah, that is- that is true. I've seen it happen many times over the years. But, I guess it's kind of one of those things, if you get lucky, you get noticed, and if not, you just chat, and, you know... You, you kind of have to realize that you're pissing in the wind. You're just pissing right in the wind, or just, like, throwing... Throwing a coin into the ocean. But, there are times where I can interact, and, um... There's good interaction from time to time. Slower days, for example. And, um, there's also... What's this? Your chances are minimal of being seen. Saw ya. Uh, but no, 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 it's true though. It's hard to, it's hard to, um... It's hard to get that level of, of attention... ...in these bigger chats. But that doesn't mean I don't want to chat. I really, I really like the chat. You guys can both make me laugh. You can make me cry. But whatever you do, don't hurt each other. Um... I've- I've learned a lot from the chat. I've been called out on my bullshit from the chat. I've called the chat out on their bullshit from time to time. But ultimately, we form a symbiosis. And one chant exists without the other. I feel. Yeah, we're- we're tied together, whether you like it or not. That's right. You've shaped my sense of humor, I've shaped yours. And, uh, you know, we- we just continue this- this, uh... This thing until one of us gets sick of the other. Or... Unless we... Uh, find a better thing to do with our lives. <laughs> Which I suppose is always possible. But just whatever you do, don't do drugs. All the people getting timed out. Um... Yeah, that's- that's, uh, Nightbot timeouts. That's good. Nightbot's hitting the timeouts hard, son. But yeah, today was like the first nice day in a while. It's crazy, just last week... You know, it was snowing in Boston. And then, I come back, and the weather just gradually gets nice. And today... Was like... No, it wasn't even jacket weather. Today was just chill. It was just really, really great. And then in like two days, it's gonna be back to like 42 degrees. No, really. Here, let me check my phone. Um, it says here... Right now it's 82, which I don't believe. Doesn't feel like- I think it's something like... It, it feel, it's 79, okay, I can buy that. But, um... 
It says here on Sunday it's gonna be 45 degrees and then hover around the 50s and 40s. Someone said it snowed today in Utah. What do you do in Utah? Like, what- what is there to do? You can have children, um, ski and convert to Mormonism. Um, there's Salt Lake City. Oh, that's good. I can fill a fucking lake with my Mario Kart salt. Um, do you like cats? I'm allergic to cats. I like them, though. I wish I wasn't. Utah is a pretty state. You know, that's- that's something I do- I do miss. Living in New York, I miss out on... Some of the, um... Some of the nice scenery. So when I drive through, like, you know... Connecticut and uh, some of Massachusetts. I'm like, oh right, hills and trees, and it looks, it looks cool. Even New Jersey, it's just nice to see nature. So, upstate has that. Upstate is further from me than Jersey, and um, even Connecticut. I can get to Connecticut easier than upstate New York. Believe it or not. Um, what do I think will be announced at this year's E3? I think, um, Bethesda team, uh, yeah. Someone from Bethesda teased, um, Doom 2. So we've gone from Doom to Doom 2 to Final Doom to Doom 3. Now we're back at Doom, Doom 2, then there's gonna be Final Doom. Now there was like, don't, don't quote me on that, but there was some, some kind of teaser thing that happened. Um, but I- I don't know. I think we're gonna see something from Nintendo, aside from Smash Brothers, that's gonna be pretty huge. And, uh, other than that, I'm not too sure. There was another piece of gaming news I wanted to discuss with you guys, but I forgot what it was now. Secret Seashell. Joel proposed it should be named Doom 5, with 5 being a pentagram. I think that's a fantastic idea, actually. I love that idea. And it would bring us back to the proper naming scheme. Cough, cough. Don't sprinkle that on me. I'll have to curse you. <laughs> Terraria Otherworld got cancelled? What was that again? That's... kind of... I like Terraria, what... Oh, Billy Mitchell, yeah, Billy Mitchell had the fucking King of Kong records revoked for, uh, cheat. Vinny, you are very good, but I normally watch small strammers because they answer the chat. I actually answered two of your questions. That being the second. That's not bad for a couple thousand people. Terraria spin-off focusing on corruption. Um, yeah, and some games I can interact better than others. Like, this game... I can... Um, I can interact a bit. Because, um, you know, when the screens are transitioning, I can look over. When I'm just walking from left to right, I can walk over. Like, Warcraft 3 yesterday, I could not interact at all. Um, Bloodborne, I have a hard time interacting too much, too, because that game just is like... You, you, it requires full tits concentration. 
And, um, even Kirby's, like, true arena last night was... ...damn near impossible. Uh, what's that? Vinny, what'd you have for lunch? I just kind of, uh, I headed out today to the studio, so I wanted to, um... ...get something real quick. So I just grabbed some, uh, Timmy Hortons. <laughs> That's about it. Blueberry muffin. And, uh... And a coffee, and that was about it. I could use some more substantial food, but that'll be later. Tracy? Hi there, big guy. I'm crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret. I love rats! For sale, that'll pump you up. Will you give me 28 rupees for my secret? Alright, come here and I'll rub it on you. Don't do that. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all heart. Uh, drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. I forgot about Crazy Tracy. The witch. I believe I need, I need a mushroom for the witch. Vinny, slow down. You're not a speedrunner. Just kidding. I don't know if this looks like a casual playthrough or a speedrun. Huh? When I stream early, we get a lot of, like, newer people, don't we? I feel like there's a whole subsect of people who have never watched me stream live before, or maybe at all. Or maybe they heard... They- maybe they heard that I, um, at one point corrupted The Sims, which I didn't, and- and they decided to show up and see what was going on. They're like, eh, eh maybe this guy's alright. Or I'm just going really fast through the screens, but no, I'm not a speedrunner. I am not a speedrunner. I just love to take pictures. Will you let me take your picture? Go to the back of the room and stand in front of the screen. There's just too many goddamn rats in this game. And the stream in general the past couple weeks has been full of rats. Here stands a brave man. Say cheese. What's your name, young man? Link? Well, here's your uh, album, Link. Give it a look. Before you leave. Let's see if we can fill that album. And this was the DX version exclusive thing that you could do. <laughs> there he is. You could use the Game Boy printer. So I'm still trying to figure out where the third dungeon is, but until then I can do some exploration. I kind of love the way Link's sprite looks in this one. I'm going to use the word cute. Hoot. The windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight siren instruments in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Who? It's definitely a weirder story than most Zel Zoraldo games. So that's the egg. Oh, this music is so good, though. Um, so that clip of me playing Galgun got like 15,000 uh, views. What the fuck happened? I think I'm just the least likely person on the planet to stream Galgun. That's my theory. And that's why the clip got viewed as much as it did. Which is also why I decided to stream it for a little bit. I was like, you know what? Yeah. 17.5k. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Vinny, are you done playing Slay the Spire? They're teasing a new character being a robot. That's true, I saw that. Um, no, I'm not- I'm far from done with Slay the Spire. They did some card rebalances, too. I keep, um, a close eye on the updates. Really excited for that new character to come out. Um, and at some point, I'm gonna go back to it. And I know Rev and I wanted to do a race, but that just hasn't happened. It's been, like, timing issues for both of us. So, oh, another thing happened. I ordered, like, a little, um, shitty shower radio from Amazon. Which, um, wasn't even that expensive. So, I was pretty, um, I was like, yeah, you know what, sure, I, you know, I had to order a screen protector, and I saw that, and I was like, yeah, I like to listen to music when I'm in the shower, and uh, I don't want my phone in the bathroom. So it was like 20 bucks or so, which, um, it's a Bluetooth speaker. Alright, fair enough. I, I unboxed it, it's fine, it's worth the 20 bucks. But the instructions are pretty fucking hilarious. Um... This speaker has a fever phenomenon when normally operated or charging. It's normal. Hmm. Do not drop or trample the speaker. Do not use alcohol, benzene, or other chemicals to clean the speaker. That one's fine. Um... Do not dismantle the speaker without authorization. Who might... I contact for proper authorization for a speaker dismantlement. I wonder. The waterproof level of the speaker reaches IP65. Splash is okay, but it cannot be submerged into the water. Splash is okay. Um, I have to look around and see if there's any- there's more. I'm sure- I'm sure there's other good ones, but uh, I'll just- I'll find them. At some point, I'll find them. I just wanted you guys to hear about, um... The speaker has a fever phenomenon when normally operated or charging. It's normal. I don't know what that means. Fever phenomenon? It gets hot? Oh, yeah, 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 it gets- <laughs> I love that! I love that people were actually able to decipher that, and fairly easily, too, and now it seems so obvious. Yeah, fever phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, fever phenomenon is overheat. That sounds like a song title, though. That's, that sounds like a good song title. Splash is okay, but do not submerge. So what was the color palette for Game Boy Color? Was it 56? Or was it even less than that? No, Game Boy Color. Three grays and a green, that's, um... That's Game Boy. Vinny, are you thinking of making a cover album? No, that, that would be, uh, that's not... That's not the fun part for me, the fun part is the writing. Um... No covers, just live, maybe. It's like 56 colors, okay. Someone said, thank you for streaming early. Well, the answer is, um, you're welcome, but also, I... I kinda didn't have much of a choice. These next two days, I'm not gonna be around at my usual time. Because I need to catch up with friends and life, and I have a birthday party tonight. Um, low-key, too, so, that's good. I need a low-key thing after PAX. So, you know, I figured it's either now, or streaming would be... not happening.
shit. Turns out it's 16 colors? Okay, I figured, because... This does not look like more than... Like, I, I thought it was more limited than people were saying it was. Here it is, this is the- this is the third... dungeon. Anything special for my birthday coming up? Uh, no, not really. Pizza? Pizza and beer. And not even so much on the beer anymore. Like, every year it got less beer and more pizza. So that's about it. I usually, um... Rope a few friends along into going to a good pizza place that I like. And now uh, we just go and talk and... That's about it. Simple. Rustic. Color was like the new 4K at the time. Like, you know how 4K is now? Game Boy Color was that. And they had to like re release a bunch of games in color. There's another thing, too, like... Mario Land 2... ...would have been the perfect game... ...to re-release... ...with, um... ...Game Boy Color, but it never happened. And last time I streamed it... ...I did, like, this bootleg awful color hack that did not look good in the slightest. I mean, you were there, you saw it, chat. But I still, you know, I still did it. And, um, it was a good game, but the color hack was really not great. And then, like, a couple months after that, someone released an actual, like, really high-effort color hack. And, um, it looks, it looks great. So, stick a fork in me. At some point, I'd like to stream it. Maybe, maybe not anytime soon, because it's still fairly recent since I streamed Super Mario Land 2. Um, there's also... wasn't Wario... ...released in color? One of the Wario games? Hmm. Remember, I'm going for a no-death run here, um, but I'm having some issues. There we go. After all that, the key wants to go down into a pit. Vinny, did you claim that Verdun key I sent you? I did not. Uh, I'm not really that interested in that game at this moment. Thank you, though. I often tell people not to send me keys or Steam games, because, um... The problem with that is, there are too many games for me to keep up with. Uh, I have no problem buying my own games, and also... Um, I feel like it would be a waste for people, like, I don't want people to waste their money on me. And, um... 
And also, sometimes people guilt trip me, like they'll send me a key, and my inbox will be clusterfucked, as it usually is. I don't see it, and then a week later they're like, um, yeah, Vinny, you should stream the game I sent you, and if, like, then they get kind of shitty about it. I'm like, oh, okay. It happens. So yeah, don't do that. In the eight years that I've been doing this, especially the past couple years with the larger amount of audience, I've got stories that, you know, all the typical stories that you would imagine, and some that you'd be like, oh, wow. Wow, okay. My inbox can sometimes be a dumpster fire of the highest magnitude. So. Of course, I know that's the the pitfall of this, but it, it's getting to the point now where I'm starting to consider like maybe maybe it's time to maybe it's time to not have have that be a thing. You know, people try to rope me into their own things, and it's like I, I do. I'm just streaming video games on the internet. Like, I'm not sure what you want from me. Start telling stories? No, oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I also don't want to, um... Be shitty to anyone, either. Like, you know... But, so if I start telling stories and then someone... Gets upset, I wouldn't feel right about that, so... Vinny, have you ever been to an anime con? Uh, accidentally. They used to do an anime convention... At the Javits Center, during Comic-Con. So... I've been in the vicinity. My closest uh, connection to an anime con is someone telling me to hold a picture of an anime girl and then them, t them taking a photo of it. Which is entrapment. mouths. These are like fake Dodongos? I don't know what the hell these are. Shoshlongos? Oh, speaking of interesting words, people are tweeting a thing to me, and I'm trying to understand what the fuck it is, and I'm gonna need your help, chat. Oh. Yeah, no, the scissor punch, Therm scissor punch is a whole different story. That's... I, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. But, um, there's a Star Wars character called Therm scissor punch that has, like, scissor claw arms. Um, and it's in, it's in the Han Solo movie, so that's cool. But, no, this, this is the thing that people are tweeting to me. The horngus of a dongfish is attached by a skunkle to a kind of dill sack, the nut sack. I don't know if this is real, but I assure you I did not have anything to do with this. So you can stop tweeting this to me and saying, Vinny, why did you do that? I swear I have nothing to do with that. Oh, damn it. I plead the fifth.
Looks like Wikipedia, so it must be real. Oh, yeah, for sure. So yeah, Pegasus Boots. It's an item you don't typically see in the 3D Zelda games. H has there ever been a Pegasus Boots in 3D Zelda? I don't think so. I, I don't think it would really work all that well. So here's a combo. Oh, actually. Always check pots. My least favorite aspect of this is, again, hardware limitations by going into the menu over and over and over again. Um, and, like, there's no dedicated sword button. So you're pretty much in your menu all the time to solve puzzles. No dedicated shield, no dedicated sword. I'm actually surprised this never got a remaster. Well, it did- this is the remaster, but I'm surprised it never got... ...like a Game Boy Advance hard, uh, update, or a DS update or something. doesn't really need one, I agree. I'm, but I'm surprised, given Nintendo's track record with... ...like, updates and remasters that, that's, um... ...been pretty... ...frequent in the Zelda series. Like, then again, we never got a Zelda 1 or 2... ...update of any kind. We never got, um... What else didn't we, we get? We got Link to the Past. Oh, Link to the Past was almost updated. But they made a new game out of it instead, which was Link Between Worlds. The Oracle series... Again, it's not that any of these games aged poorly, except maybe Zelda 2, and I say that as a fan. But... Yeah, it's, it's a little, um... I wonder if that's something that Nintendo would ever end up doing for a, a quick buck. Lame. Also, the bow and arrow is optional in this game, isn't it? Could you imagine a full 3D remake of Link's Awakening? Um, there were rumors that that was actually happening, I think. I do believe that Nintendo is going to do something with Zelda that we um, have already seen. Maybe some kind of um, Link Between Worlds type thing. Or maybe a re-release or a remaster of another game. Because in the time it takes to make a new Zelda game, 
it would be easy to keep um, sales and interest up with something other than Hyrule Warriors. Vinny, when was the worst time you pissed yourself in public? You're implying I've already pissed myself in public a s number of times. When in reality, I, I have not. I can't prove this. But you don't need proof for anything on the internet. Not anymore. It's just how good is the story? So the answer is, um, every time was beautiful. When's the last time you brushed your teeth? Uh, this morning. Yeah. I'm not one of those brush after every meal people, and I should be. Did you floss? I floss. I have a uh, water pick too. Life hack, you don't brush your teeth if you don't have any teeth. Wasn't that a thing that actually happened at, like, various times in history where they, they would just go for the wooden teeth? They would let their teeth rot because it was more expensive to upkeep the teeth than to just get a pair of good old wooden ones? Am I telling tales out of school? Well, people in chat are saying it's right, so I guess that's good enough. It's just a- like I said earlier, it's a good story. It doesn't have to be right. Wouldn't the wood also rot? I would imagine replacements were still cheaper than dental care in like 1786. Oh man, that just reminded me. Me giving that date... ...for some... ...bizarre reason that I can't really explain... ...it reminded me of... ...I think I was in... ...fifth grade? And... ...James... ...you all know who James is. No, you don't. No one does. But, you know, typical James... ...we had to do, um... ...an oral report... ...on history. Like, on anything history-related. And... James chose Christopher Columbus. And he did a rap. So he rapped about Christopher Columbus, and the rap went, In 1492! In 1492! 1492! And then he would go on to say, Columbus did this, he did that, he did this! Columbus did this and this, this and this, this! 1492! <laughs> James was also the type of person where if you looked at him in the eye for more than two seconds, he would start laughing. And he would not be able to contain his laughter. Which... Uh, yeah, there was more things. There were, there were more things there that James would do that were a little off. That I believe... Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, default ringtone. Yeah. 
Yeah, this needs to change. Be right back, guys. Chat, those were not Robertsons. That was just gooey eyeballs, please. Neener, neener. Anyway, that was James. He said to me, I heard you were talking shit. In 1492! No, that was- that was my, um... That was my friend who helps me with my taxes. I call him my tax guy. You know, I got a guy. And, uh, still- still figuring all that out. Hang on a second, my ear... My ear muff has come- come loose. Okay, we're good now. Waterfall, it is hidden in the waterfall. Okay. Hoot, how many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the egg, the windfish will wake, and you will leave this island now. You must hasten to the Yarna Desert, the dark, monstrous inhabitants of the, of the sand will show you the way. Hoot hoot. I suddenly had a very strong recollection that I have in fact streamed this game already. But now I don't know for sure, I could just be making that up. I just don't know. Hey, Limes. Welcome to the stream. I'm streaming at Limes times at the moment. Thank you for the raid. I have streamed this? How- how long ago? What, seven years ago, maybe? I thought this was the only Zelda game I haven't streamed, but it turns out I- I think I did. Well, it was a corruption. I definitely streamed this game to corrupt it, but I also... ...might have done a full playthrough, or it might have just been... ...it might have just been corruption. I don't know. It was 1492, that's when I streamed it? Okay, thanks, chat. I think I can do this whole thing a little bit easier. You stream this with our Game Boy Corruptor. I- I did, that was one of the corruptions I did with this. I've corrupted this game multiple times. But I seem to now recall a full playthrough. Oh well. If it happened or it didn't, it's fine. I'm just gonna stop playing the game forever. 
You've got the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. This was the first, I believe, the first appearance of an ocarina in Zelda. Oh. Well, it's an ocarina, but you don't know how to play it. <laughs> hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? Link to the Past was a flute. It looked like an ocarina, but it was called the flute. This just looks like a chicken nugget. So, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yes. If you say no, you never learn how to play the ocarina, and then you become a sanitation worker in Hyrule. I mean, in Kaholin. Sorry. You've learned the ballad of the windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. I forget how to make bird... Like... Come alive. There- I think there is a way to do that, though. Just checking. Oh, it's the wrong song. Okay, it's another one. Gotcha. Do you see... Do you see the amount of bushes here? I take back the sanitation worker thing. Landscaping. It's all about landscaping. Dig up the whole screen. Oh man, I could- I could literally get five more rupees if I do that. That's like forever rupees. So, anyway, um, I think- I know where I have to go generally, but I don't know how to get there, so I'm just not going to... ...worry about that. I'm gonna keep going right. Oh, the book! Yeah, that's right. There's a book. 50 rupee- 50 rupee, very nice. Um, this is the house that you take the ghost to. It's an old shitty house. That ghost always... ...always stuck out to me. I always felt bad... ...for that poor ghost. Um, okay, yeah, I can't do any of this stuff yet. idea to not have my sword out. Shit. Like, I think I know where I I'm gonna go, but anyway, I'm not gonna be playing this for too long because Scrum... Oh, hey there. Oh, Link! 
I see you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? Yep. <laughs> I, when I was a kid, I thought that looked like a grandma. Yep, I know. You picked up a grandma head. Stick became honeycomb. You're not sure how it happened, but take it. Did you see that? You see her? Do you see her? You did. You go. I'm glad you saw her. She's in there. That honeycomb looks like grandma's. Got all like distorted in the menu screen, but when it's in the world map, when it's on that tree, it looks like a grandma. Ah, oh, here we are again. Years later, the- Whoa, oh! Oh, jeez. Hey, that looks great. I'll call it Link Plays with Bow Wow. Now get closer to Bow Wow. <laughs> Link, get closer! I've never seen this before, by the way. Much closer. Okay, I'm ready. Smile. to read this book. New World of Color Under the Five Gravestones. Three, four, five, two, one. Try with all your might. Open a new path. Whoever is worthy receives the power of color. I wonder what the world of color is. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the, um, DX dungeon. So, you know, that's specifically for this game. I'm gonna do it. Um, it does make the game a bit easier, but maybe that's good. Maybe I'll just do that now instead of doing all the other stuff, because... It's not that long of a dungeon. And if I get the armor, it can actually help me not die. And I'm going for a no death run, so... That's cool. I'll do that. You can also upgrade your sword, but I'm gonna pass on that one. demon friend. Hey kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. Now I'll get my revenge. You ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. You ready? <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Take care, see you again. That confused me as a kid. I was like, I don't know if I should do this. And then, like he said, revenge, and... Then later I was like, oh, he did a good thing. Oh, I get it. He, it was a thing. There was a thing that was happening there. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, seizure warning. <laughs> a little too late there. Um... Yeah. They were a little bit more lax about this stuff. In the, uh, late 80s, early 90s. Zelda 2's Game Over screen is a perfect example. Hey, kid. I heard you like magic powder. 
You like this white stuff? I believe it's here. I'm gonna kill the ghosts first. Kill the ghosts, I say. Oh, that's like a throwback to Zelda 1. Kill the right ghost. And, um, I don't remember the arrows. I don't know if anyone in chat can... <laughs> can repeat the arrows back to me. I mean, you can't do arrow symbols in chat, can you? No, not ten arrows, not an emote. Down, left, up, right, up. Down, left, up, right, up. No. Bottom, middle, down. Bottom, left, left. Bottom, middle, down. Bottom. Top, left, up. Top, middle, right. Top, right, down. This won't go down. messed up the order. Last is up, not down. Hang on, someone's got it. Bottom right, thank you. Bottom right, down. Bottom left, left. Top left, up. Top center, right. Push the top. Push. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? Red. Don't tell anyone. So yeah, this, this is the bonus dungeon, and since this is a DX color game, this dungeon would not have been possible on the original Game Boy. Um... Blue. Shh, pep secret. I seem to recall doing this, but then again, I don't remember if I ever finished... I don't remember if I ever finished the DX version, I don't think I did. But, you see how bad my memory is, so... Also, some cool, classic Zelda music. eventually... I see. Brand new enemy. Yeah, this is kind of a cool dungeon. Did you ever see any of the Zelda Symphony shows? Not live. Oh my god.
I'm good at BDO game. It's not my birthday. You fool, your sword won't work. Try something else. I'm going to a birthday. Thanks, I'll take it. I think we should have two birthdays per year. Fuck off. It's called Christmas? No, 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 that's the birthday of Jesu Cristo. Do you understand? That's not you, and... No, you- no. Wait, are you Jesus? Owl statue? I mean, it's just gonna tell me, like, to do things. I'm already making good progress. What a greedy fool, you want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. Okay, I don't know how to defeat this boss. Oh. That's that's uh, that's how you do it. You, you just go up, get up there, and whack him with your sword. Not even the final boss. This is not so much... Uh, this seems more like a combat-oriented dungeon. Um, even though the puzzle stuff is... is there, it's light, and not as much as I remember if I've ever played this. <laughs> Obviously, I don't remember it, so... That might be telling in and of itself. Also, I'd recommend a, a series of YouTube videos called Boss Keys from Mark Brown. And it analyzes the Zelda dungeon format, and how it's changed over the years. And the variety of different dungeons that, um, are in Zelda games. Like, you have more combat-focused dungeons that are more linear. You have more puzzle-oriented dungeons. So, I watched the whole series and it was great. I loved it. So, high recommendations for anyone who's looking for extended Zelda video viewing.
Welcome to the next 20 minutes of the stream. Hope you enjoy your stay. Here is your clue. Make all the red blue. <laughs> oh, thanks! Thanks, Owl! Wow, I seem to be having tremendous difficulty for what is seemingly a simple task, but I assure you it is not. It's always one left. It's always one goddamn one left. Then you had it. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, I got this. No, 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 I got this. Just as I was talking about there being no puzzles, here's puzzles. Hmm. isn't doing me any favors either. Uh. Well, it looks cool. Oh. There we go. It's either that or slide puzzles. Take your pick. Choose your poison. Blue is safe, yellow is caution, red is danger. So this one is just back yourself into a corner and- and HEAT! It's fair enough. Welcome, Link. I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? And you can actually change this... Uh, at will, if you come back here, I believe. I must have played through this. Yeah, I, m I must have done this. You got the blue clothes. Your damage will be reduced by half. Now, I'm doing blue because I don't want to die. I want to do a no-death run. And I also feel like, um, the sword is, is a little bit too powerful anyway. So this is like a slightly less cheap, cheap out. Nice members of chat. Oh, 
Then are you gonna play the Monster Hunter World Spring event? Uh, maybe. I haven't played Monster Hunter in a little while, but yeah, I wouldn't mind coming back to it. I might wait for another little bit of, um, content update before I jump back in. Like, I know we got the pickle, but maybe there's, um, maybe there's more on the way? You have two to three days left, I think. Oh, never mind then. Alright, um, I think I'm good here. We're gonna stop here. This is like a slightly shorter Zelda stream, and it will be hopefully a two-hour Skyrim stream. So stick around for Scrum plus Bingo, and expect more of this next week. Definitely more Zelda soon. Oh, I have to... Press all the buttons at the same time, hang on. How do you do that? Oh, here it is. Save and quit. Alright. Alright, quick BRB, and then scrum, plus bingo, and you can get your bingo cards ready at um, bit.ly slash scringo, S-K-R-I-N-G-O. I'll link it in chat. Um, there it is, thanks. Chromatic's got it. I'll link it too, just in case. Bit.ly slash S-K-R-I-N-G-O. Be right back with Skyrim plus Bingo. Be right back.